Okay, so thank you all for coming. Happy Friday the 13th. Today we will be talking about some more advanced editing options for the website. So last week we went through the basic editing of your homepage. And today we're going to go through how to add additional pages to your website. So the first one we're going to focus on is how to add your biography page um, so that you can have an entire page on your website uh, dedicated to all about you. This is also the page that the main Fox and Roach website will be pulling your information from. So if somebody is out there just searching for agents, if they go to the Fox and Roach website or they go to our offices website and click on your name, this is the page that will show up with all of your information. So this is kind of an important thing to make sure that you have. So as with anything to do with your individual agent website, you are going to start out on your ACE dashboard and you're going to go to this top menu across here and to site builder. Now, we're generally speaking going to go down to the first one, which says collections. And we're actually gonna skip over the first two that we talked about last week. So we're gonna skip over layouts, we're gonna skip over site editor, and we're going to go to interior pages since that is what we are adding. So click there. And what you're going to see is a whole list of the current interior pages on your website. Now, what you wanna do is actually take a look because for instance, on mine, you can see I already have one right here called my bio page. And if I go over to category, it says profile page. You can only have one at a time. So if you are looking at your list of interior pages and you already have one that says my bio page and is a profile page, you will not be able to follow the steps we're about to go through to add another one. What you can do is if it's not one you remember doing, um, you can actually come over here to edit page and then you can follow us along from that point. But for today, I'm going to try to take you through the steps you would need to do to get started from scratch. So in order to do that, <clears throat> from the very top of this list, you would go to this little purple add button in the upper left. Okay, and then it's gonna ask you what type of page do you want to add? And if you go to the very middle of this list, you will see profile page. So you're going to click that. Okay, and then it's gonna ask you what category or layout do you want? So you're gonna click this drop down, and bio page is what we are looking to add. So we're gonna click on bio page. And now it's going to give us a several options, right? So you can see there's the Fox and Roach bio, office bio, advanced bio, video bio, regular bio, okay? So the advanced bio has some additional options. Um, it will have these little buttons right here in the middle uh, that function, you can add more uh, information, you can add additional photos as opposed to just the single agent photo. Uh, so it's up to you whether you wanna go with the regular simpler bio page or the advanced bio page. Just so you can see all the options. Good, did somebody have a question? Nope, looks like somebody just was not muted. So if you can just make sure you mute yourself, that would be great, thank you. All right, so I'm going to start out with advanced bio, just so you guys can see this one. So once I've made my selection, I'm going to hit create page on the bottom left. All right, so here is where I will have to stop because I already have a bio page. I'm going to get this message. This title cannot be used. So if you are going along and doing this, and this is the message that you get, it's because you already have a bio page created. So if you haven't and you've gotten to here, it's actually going to put you into your bio page to start editing. Uh, so bear with me and I'm gonna back out and pick out from there. So once you've clicked create page on that last screen, 
you're going to come right back here to your list of interior pages. And what you will need to do is scroll down and find your newly added bio page. Okay, so we're all now at the same point where if you already have it, it's in this list, or if you've just created it, like I showed you, it's now in this list, and you're going to come all the way over to the right and click edit page. Okay, so now if we want to be able to edit this, we're going to on the left hand menu click interior pages. And then here's where you can make all your editing choices on this bio page. So first up is the bio content. And this is where you would write in all of the text that you want for about you. All right, and that is what would show up over here on the right hand side. It's going to show you what it's going to look like. And it's going to have a read more option. So only the first few sentences are going to show up. And then if they click read more, they'll be able to see your full bio. So just a few recommendations when you are creating your bio. You don't want it to be too short. You don't want it to be too long. And you don't want it to just be about real estate, OK? Most people that are choosing to work with you as an agent, if they're doing so blind, meaning they don't know you, they didn't get referred to you, they just somehow found you and they're reading about you now, they want to relate to you on a personal level. So rather than just putting your entire history as an agent, how much business you do, how many years you've been in real estate, you want to make sure you're also including a few personal touches that other people might be able to relate to. So, for instance, you know, where did you grow up? What are some of your hobbies? What do you love about working in this career, right? Why, why did you get started as a realtor out of all things you could do? Uh, so just a few hints on how to create the personable bio that people are actually going to connect to and make them want to hit that contact me button to reach out to you. Okay, so once you have created your bio and you've typed it in here in order to go to, and it also gives you, I should mention real quick right here, you can actually add a video link. So if you happen to have created an about me video that's either hosted on Vimeo or YouTube, I think those are the only two hosting sites that you can use the links for. But if you've already created a video like that and you want to include that in the bio, you can put the uh, video link right here. You do want to make sure when you're doing that you are getting the entire URL. So you have to do the www. You know, HTTP, that whole part. So you would just go to whatever site the video is hosted, click on the video, and then at the very top of your browser here, you would make sure you copy and paste this entire URL to add that. Okay. So once you've typed in your entire bio, you've added a video link if you choose to, in order to go to the next step, you have to close this one out. So I'm going to click bio content a second time to close it. So now I can go down to designations. So this is for those of you who have you know, taken additional classes and you have gotten an official designation, you know, for ABR or seniors or whatever the case might be, it gives you the option to enter those designations here. Once you've entered those, again, click on designations a second time to close it. And next we're gonna go to featured properties because if I scroll to the bottom of my bio page, it's going to show some of my featured properties and you can edit uh, which ones it's picking. So I'm going to click on featured properties on the left hand side and I'm going to you can change what it's called. Right, so my active and pending listings, if you want it to be that or in my case it's my recently sold properties and then if you want to change the settings you click the purple featured settings button. And here is where you can change the options so that it's only pulling a specific kind of property if you would like. 
So if you only want to show single family, you can uncheck the rest of these under property type. If you only want to show your active properties or your pending properties or your coming soon, you can choose that or you can choose all of the above. You can put in a minimum and maximum price point if you choose to. So if you have some lower end sales that you don't necessarily want to advertise or feature on your bio, uh, you can put in a minimum price and it won't show any homes below that price point. And then you can choose how you want it to sort because if you have more than three properties, it will show three at a time and then scroll through. So do you want to show price point high to low or low to high? Do you want to show the newest sales to oldest sales or do you want it to be completely random? So you can make your selections. Once you've decided all of this information, you're going to click the purple save button in the bottom left hand corner. You're going to click OK. Yes, I want to update. All right. So now I'm going to come back to featured properties, close that out. And now I'm going to go to my sold properties. So I'm going to click here and same thing. It's called resume settings, but it's the same function, right? So you're going to click resume settings and you're going to see the same exact options. So again, if you don't want to show commercial or vacant land or rentals, you can uncheck those. You can put in a minimum price if you would like, and you can choose how to sort them uh, over here on the far right. So once you've made those selections, again, bottom left hand, click the purple save button, click OK, and then click on sold properties again to close that out. All right, so now I'm just looking at on the right hand side what it's going to look like. Okay, this has been pulled automatically from my ACE dashboard. So these are my uh, links to my social media pages. So as long as those are included in your ACE dashboard, or I'm sorry, your ACE profile, they should be here, has a contact me and a visit my site button. And again, these are because I selected that advanced bio page option. Okay. It's also pulling this photo from my ACE profile. Uh, if you wanted to add multiple photos and you're using the advanced option, it would allow you to do that as well. Okay. okay. So once you have entered all of this information, we are, and it looks like how you want it to look, we're going to go to the left hand side and we're going to click the purple publish page option. It's going to ask you if you're sure because it's going to, if you've made changes, it's going to overwrite the previous version of your bio page. Uh, so you're going to click OK. OK. And now we are back out to here. So now what we want to do is actually go ahead and make sure that we add this to the appropriate spot on our website. So to do that, we're going to go here on the left hand side to navigation homepage. And we're going to cl click edit navigation. Okay. So what we're going to do now is on this left hand side, we're going to go down to we see our profile page. We're going to open up that list and then we're going to see my bio page. That's the one you just created. You're going to check off my bio page and you're going to click add to navigation. Now, if you had a pre existing bio page that you were just editing, it should already be in your navigation. And you can check that by coming over here to the right hand side, clicking the My Profile drop down. Oh, let's just do it. So I'm going to click my bio page, add to navigation. Here it is, right? My bio page. So now it's added it up here. I can either leave it as its own navigation title, 
which means my bio page will show up as its own heading at the top of your website, or you can choose to nest it under one of these others. So you can nest it under my profile. Um, you can see on mine, I've done that, right? So it's nested under the my profile options on my website. You don't need tomatoes. I don't want cheese bacon either. No. Um, whoever's talking, if you guys can mute yourself. Thanks. Um, all right. So I'm going to show you quickly what I am talking about, right? So I am going to go open my actual website, which is always your full name dot foxroach.com. So I'm going to open this up. So what I am now talking about as far as navigation is what we're seeing here across the top, okay? So if you did the first two steps, which is, let me go back, where am I? Here, okay. So if you did the first two steps, which is over here on the left, where you clicked my bio page and clicked add to navigation, and it showed up over here at the very top, then you would have, and you clicked publish, then it would show up right here. So right now I have my profile properties and buyer and seller center. If you did the first two steps and you clicked publish navigation, you would now have another title up here that says my bio page. And when they clicked on that, they would view that page you just created. If you did the additional steps, which I did, which was to nest it underneath, right? So I actually dragged it down and put it under the My Profile heading. So that's now what this looks like, where if I go to my website and I hover over my profile, my bio page is the first one that pops up, okay? So those are your two options on where you can have it located in the navigation part of your website. Once you've made the appropriate selections at the very top up here, you would click publish navigation. And then it would show up on your website. Okay. Looks like we have something in chat. Now, Alice, I'll make sure everybody gets the recording, usually by the end of the day today, if not tomorrow, it just depends on how quickly YouTube processes it. Okay, so that is all of the steps on how to add the bio page to your website. Was everyone able to follow that? Does anyone need me to go back through that quickly? What all the steps are? If so, just unmute yourself. Let me know if you want me to cover anything about that before we move on to the next topic. Is everybody good? Okay, I'm not hearing from anyone, so I'm going to assume we're all good to move on. So the next thing I'm going to show you after you've added your bio page is how to add a lead capture or landing page to your website. So it's going to be a very similar process to what we just did. All right, so we would start off in our ACE dashboard, we would go to Site Builder on the top menu, hover over Collections, go down to Interior Pages. That is where I am here. We now have our whole list of interior pages again. We're going to start out by hitting the purple Add button in the upper left. Now again, it's gonna ask us what type of new page do we want to add? So in this case, we're going to add a lead form. So I'm going to select this third option here. Okay, the first thing it's asking me to do is actually title it, okay? The bio page is automatically titled that because that's what it is, but you can create multiple different types of lead forms. So whatever type of lead form you're creating, 
you want to make sure that you title it something you know that makes sense. So in this case, I'm going to use my home valuation system as a lead gen page. So I'm going to title it, what is your home worth? Okay. And then again, we're gonna go out to the layout category drop down, click this, and it's gonna ask you if you want a lead page or a system lead form. So a form is just that. It's just a form where you ask them to type in their information and that's it. I prefer the lead pages. So we're gonna select that. And now it's gonna give us a whole selection of different types of lead form layouts, okay? So you can see there's a few right here. This one is what is my home's value? What is my home worth? This one is about an agent. Here's another one about home valuation. This is just a blank lead page where you can create whatever you want. One, two, three different layout options for that. You can create one for first time home buyers. Here's another blank lead page. Here's one where you can ask them to register. Here's one where you're just asking them to contact you. There's ones for open house another what is my home worth and another open house now all of these are going to be editable just like your home page was so don't worry too much about what the photo is or what the text says because you're going to be able to change that you just are looking at the basic layout of your options and what do you like uh, what's the simplest okay so i am gonna just use this second one home valuation two to get started so I'm going to select that, scroll down to the bottom, and click Create Page on the bottom left. OK, so same step two. I now have to scroll down alphabetical order, find that one that I just created, right? What is your home worth? And now I'm going to come all the way over here and click Edit Page. Okay, and what do I want to edit? I want to edit the interior page. So I'm going to select this. And here is where you can actually change the background image. So if I don't like this background image, I can click the purple button to change it. And it gives you two options. You, if you choose to, you can have a separate background image, whether someone's looking at it on their computer or their phone, it's up to you. So I'm going to click this button for desktop. Now it's going to give you options. So you can go to my images. And if you have, if you've uploaded any images, they would be here. You can go to company images. You can use any of the ones located here, but your biggest selection is actually going to be under stock images. Uh, I'm just scrolling through to see if we have anything other than Philadelphia in here. Never mind, we've got some Jersey Shore. That's it, right? Not a lot under company. So I'm actually going to go to the third option, which is stock images. And I'm just going to start scrolling through until I find one that I like that relates to someone's home value. So just bear with me real quick as I scroll through. I wish it was searchable, but it's not. So just bear with me here. Okay, I'm trying to keep in mind that this page layout, most of the picture is only showing on the left-hand side and then the little form is over it. So let's try out this one, see what this looks like. I like those colors. So once I've clicked on it, I'm gonna click select image at the top. Perfect. All right, I like how that looks. So I'm happy with that. 
I can do the same thing if I click mobile background image. Stock images. Choose the same one. I happen to like that one, so I'm going to use the same one. And we're good. OK, so the next part is the title or heading. So over here on the right, it says, what is my home worth? You can change that if you would like to. I'm going to leave it the same. Next is the short description of what this is. So check current market values for your home and view profiles of potential buyers. Mm, they don't really see profiles of individual potential buyers. To me, that's a little misleading because we're talking about the home valuation system, right? That's what I'm gonna be using for this. So I'm gonna actually change this to check current market values for your home and view let's say uh, current market statistics and fire heat maps, something like that. All right, that can say whatever you want. Next, there's a section for a longer blurb. So if you feel like you need to put more of a description in there, you can choose to do so, or you can just you know, delete out this Latin placeholder and have nothing. And then that's what it would look like over here on the right. Um, so if you wanna say something else, you can say, you know, something like, uh, no gimmicks, no registration necessary. Simply en oop, en enter your address to get up, up to three, a automated, automated valuations for your home or if you would like sign up for a monthly report there you go all right so now we're going to scroll down here's the information it's going to ask for and then here's what the button says, right? Get my home's value now. So you can leave the button to say that if you would like, but here's what I'm gonna tell you for this particular option, all right? If this is all you do and you just publish this page as it is and they click that, all that's gonna happen is that you're gonna get an email alert that someone has filled out this form and then you would have to reach out to them and see either see what they want, or you would have to then create that valuation and send it to them, right? So get my home's value now is gonna be a little bit, bit misleading and it might take them off that they're not actually getting something. Now, below this description down here is this redirect URL. So the second option is to, what I'm going to do to show you is go get your home valuations page URL, put it here. And then when they click that button on the right, it will take them to your HVS page. But again, since there's still an extra step where they have to enter their address, they're not getting the home's value now. I don't know how accurate that button is. So for me, I'm gonna change what that button says. And I'm gonna say, um, go to home valuation page. All right, so that's what I'm gonna say. Now, I do wanna add a redirect URL because when they click that button, I want them to be able to actually go to my home valuations system page. So to get that URL, I'm going to go into 
my ACE dashboard. I am going to go to HBS. I'm going to click valuations and market my valuation page. And I'm gonna click either preview my site to go to it, or you can click email signature valuations link and all it's going to do is actually give you the link to your valuations page. So that's what this is right here. So I'm going to select copy link. I'm going to go back over to site editor and where it says redirect URL, I'm going to now paste that here. And you can see there's a note at the bottom that says when you're inserting a link, be sure to enter the enter the full URL, right? So I have the full URL right there. Okay, so now that I've entered that redirect link, I've changed everything that I want to change. It says what I want it to say. I am going to go ahead and at the top, I'm going to click publish page. And it says, are you sure you want to publish? You're going to click okay. Okay, so now I need to, again, add it to where I want it on my website. So now on the left-hand menu, I'm going to go to navigation and edit navigation. On the left-hand side, I'm going to find what type of form, I mean, it's a lead, lead page. I'm going to check off what is your home worth. And I'm going to click add to navigation, which is now going to again put it at the top on the right hand side. Now, again, if I am done and I just click publish navigation, it's going to add it as a selection to the top of my website. Or you can choose to nest it under either my profile, which doesn't make sense, properties, which might make sense or the buyer and seller center. If you wanna see what items are already under those options, you would click drop down options. So right now on my website under the properties header, I have coming soon, property search, featured properties or property watch, which is actually sort of the same thing as what we're doing right now, where they can sign up for that monthly property watch email. Under buyer and seller center, under drop down items, we have buying your home or selling your home. So it's up to you whether you want to nest it or just leave it at its as its own option. For me, because I'm trying to use this as a lead capture page, I actually just want to leave it right at the top front and center. So that's the first thing people see. They don't have to go clicking through multiple pages to find it. So I'm going to leave it right at the top. If you want it to be the first thing, you would leave it here. If you want it to, from left to right is what I'm talking about across the top of your page, right? So um, let's see, is my, let me go back to my website. Right, so from left to right. Right now it's my profile properties and buyer and seller center. If I leave it where it is now, it'll show up before my profile or I can drag and drop it and have it show up over here, which is what I want to do. So I'm actually going to close all this up and then I'm going to click it and I'm going to pull it down so that it will be after buyer and seller center. Now that I have it where I want it, I'm going to go to the upper left and hit publish navigation. Tells me it's been done. I click okay. I'm going to come over here. Let's refresh it. And there it is. What is your home worth? Okay. So now if I click on this, oh, uh oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. Wonder what happened there. Let's try publishing it again. Oops. 
still showing up there. Let's try publishing again. It's always when I'm teaching class that something doesn't work, right? Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I will have to email the powers at B to see what's going on there, but really what we just did should work. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna, this is connected. All right, let's try that. Yeah, still not working. Sons of guns. All right, well, I will find out what the deal with that is, but it's worked in the past. I've done it before. I'm not sure what's going on there, but those are the steps. <laughs> if you wanna add a lead gen page and what I showed you is using the home valuation system, that's only one option. Uh, there were plenty of other options that you can choose to do. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm actually going to go ahead and remove that. So I don't have that actually published on my website, not working. All right, there we go. I wonder if I nest it, if it will work. Let's try that. So I'll add it and then I'll nest it under, let's do under buyer and seller center. Put it there, publish, okay. Sorry guys, just bear with me. I don't know why this isn't working. No, stop the gun. All right, let's go return to interior pages. Settings, name, meta tile. No, no, it's all correct. All right, I'm not sure, guys. I will have to check in with the powers that be to see why that's not working, but it should be. Um, so that's how you would add a lead page. We've already gone over how to add a bio page. So the last thing I'm going to show you is the other types of options for interior pages. Uh, so you would start out in the same way, site builder, collections, interior pages. That will take you to your list here. You would click add in the upper left. And here are your options. So you can add a featured properties page. We went over lead forms, but remember there's different types of lead forms. If you just select page, that's actually gonna be completely blank and you can build any kind of page that you want. So for instance, I think on last week's class, someone asked me about you know, doing a blog. It's kind of a convoluted way of doing it, but you actually could use this option to create a blog right on your website. So you would create a navigation title at the top of your website that says blog, and then you would create a bunch of interior pages, however often, once a week or whatnot, uh, that would be your actual blog entry for the day or the week, and you would nest it under that navigation tab like I've showed you. So that's one way you can add a blog. If you do want to do a blank page, I'll show you the options, right? You would just name it whatever you want, and then under the categories, it's... Some of the options are calls to action. If you choose text and image, that will give you layouts, different layouts that would include both text and images. You can do image only, you can do video only, you can do completely blank, 
and you're gonna get a full on page editor where you can add photos, videos, hyperlinks, change the text, whatever. So if you wanna just start from scratch, you can hit blank, text only, and then we don't really want mobile contact or roster. Those are different types of pages. Um, so if you just, let's say I wanna, I do wanna do a blog for instance, and I wanna do text and image, it's now gonna give me the different layouts, right? For text and image. And you can choose whichever one you want and start creating. Um, or again, you can just go blank, hit create page. Oops, I just put a title in. So I would call it, you know, blog, create page. You would have to then find it again and hit edit page. Same steps we've gone over, interior pages on the left, click page editor, and there is my completely blank from scratch editing options. Okay. So I'm gonna cancel, okay, return. Add. So that's this option, which just says page. We've already done our profile page. You can add a resume page if you want, and you can add a roster. So that's going to be helpful if you are on a team, and let's say you're the team leader, and you want to actually add all your team members to a page on your website, you can do that. And then system, I don't even know what that is. Let's see what a system page is. Oh, there you go. So they actually have blog as an option under system pages. So maybe you would want to go that route if you're creating a blog. You can add a list of all your open houses. You can add the market watch report or a client dashboard. You'd have to create the form. But if you want to add a dashboard for them to have to sign in, you can do that as well under system pages. OK, so that is everything that I wanted to show you guys today. So let me turn this off and hop on with you and see if anybody has any questions. All right. Hi, everybody. Does anyone have any questions before we get off or want me to go back through anything to show them? You can unmute yourself or drop it in the chat if you do. Or give me a thumbs up if you don't. Thumbs up, thank you. All right, I'm getting silence. So I think you guys are all good. Thanks again for coming. We're done a little early. Real quick before I let you go, I actually am just gonna quickly show you on your ACE dashboard where you can go to access additional information on what we just covered. So if you need a refresher, you'll either be able to come back and watch this same video because I will post the recording to my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you want to watch some additional short videos or get some help documents to walk you back through these steps, uh, I'm going to show you where that is real quick. So hold on one second. All right, so from my ACE dashboard, if I go to the education tab here in ACE, and then I come over to the same looking tab, help documents and videos, And then I'm going to go alphabetically. This is all under ACE agent websites. That's what we're talking about today. So I'm going to click documents and videos. And here you go. All right. So at the very top, there's a full webinar overview of the entire thing. Below that, these are uh, help documents about specific things. So if you want to go back over how to create your agent bio, how to create a landing page, you can do that. There's also an option to add Facebook Messenger chat to your website, so I didn't get to that today, but if you'd like to do that, you can uh, come here and click that right there, and you can actually add a Facebook Messenger icon to your website so people can basically message you through Facebook right from your website. And then below that are videos, all right? So how to edit your homepage, your profile, what's in the image library, how to create landing or lead pages, which we just went over, how to add the Facebook Messenger chat, which I didn't get to, but you can watch a video on that, 
and how to create a custom page and navigation tab, which was that last option I just showed you, and how to set up Market Watch. Okay, so that's all I wanted to go over with you guys today. Thank you so much for coming. If you have any further questions, you can always reach out to your tech specialist for your office. Uh, email me if there's something that you need. I hope everyone enjoys their weekend and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much.